Yeah, I'd like to start out first by just reading an opening statement. If you guys just bear with me on this, I'd appreciate it. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge our alumni, fans, donors, baseball alumni. I know this has been very disappointing over the last 24 hours. I want to take the time to thank President Curtis and Dan McKee for their support for us being able to host the, the championships here, the Missouri Valley Conference Championship, as well as the uh, first round of the regionals. I want to thank Coach Hannes and his staff and our student athletes. They put it on the line each and every day, and they've earned the right to go to the Super Regional. And we're very proud of them, and I just want to thank them for all their effort and hard work. Then lastly, I want to thank Dave Patterson. Uh, Dave Patterson has been with us from the get-go. Uh, we wouldn't be able to put this on if it hadn't been for his help and for the CVB uh, with regards to our uh, Missouri Valley Conference Championship as well as the first round of the regional. So he has been very supportive in all this, and I want to thank him as well. So I'd like to start out with just a, a little timeline. May 22, 2023, athletics bids to host regional and super regional are required by the NCA to be completed and submitted at the same time. So when we submitted, we submitted a, a, a host for the regionals and super regionals. That is necessary in order to put in a bid at the NCAA. The deadline for this bid to be sent was May 22nd, 2023. I serve on the baseball committee. So on May 27th, 2023, during a discussion about hosting requirements at the Division I NCAA Baseball Committee meeting, the super the super regional bid was withdrawn. I take responsibility from, from ISU for withdrawing this, the super regional bid. I based that on information that I had at the time between May 22nd and May 27th. I had the time, NCA accommod I based it on NCA accommodations, lodging requirements, and our previous scheduled commitments. I did not believe we could host two exceptional sporting events for both Special Olympics and the ISU baseball team that both, both, that both programs deserve for their commitment and accomplishments. Now we've gotten an outpouring of support over the last 24 hours about volunteers and about money and this, that, and the other. The fact of the matter was when this decision was made between the 22nd of May and 27th, that was not available to us. We did reach out, we had people volunteer, but at this point, at that point in time, the decision was made on what was given and provided. That's all that I have. What, what changed, oh, sorry. No. what changed from the time, the 22nd to the, tw what do you think is the biggest thing that changed your, your opinion to withdraw that yeah. super regional bid? So, so Rick, I felt really confident about the regional one. All, there, there was no doubt about that. We were ready to go. There were always questions about the super regional because of the Special Olympics. Uh, we have over 3,000 uh, Olympiads and 1,500 volunteers and their families. That was always going to be a concern. Uh, but we had to submit the regional bid with the super regional bid. So there was always a concern there. Nothing changed. Did you guys reach out to the Special Olympics, not to move it, but to ask them if they may be able to accommodate hosting the super regional here to move some of their stuff so you could host it? No, sir. No. How hard a decision was, you know, was it, I'm sure? To, to... Excruciating. I mean, any of y'all know me, I'm, I'm very competitive, and that's why I kind of, you know, people think that we didn't want, this, this is huge for us. Our student athletes earn the right for that. But for me, I have, I have to look out for our student athletes and our coaches, and from a liability standpoint, and I just know after being here for seven years, what a big event, a wonderful event, the Special Olympics is, and I know that we already have some challenges with some volunteers, and so I had to make the tough decision and say, you know what, you know, we can't just, we cannot do this thing the right way uh, and do this, and so that's why the decision was made. You, you, on the committee, you know this firsthand. I actually had to fight to get the regional, which they proved they deserve. How, how much does it hurt you personally just to not be able to host the super regional again? It's tough, man. I mean, I'm a baseball, I'm a baseball guy. I mean, I, I mean, we, I mean, we've never ever hosted a super regional or a regional, so it's really hard, Rick. It's really hard. And I, but I, in my position, my position, I have to do what's best for the institution, for the university. The Special Olympics is a great event. It's been on the books for over a year, and our team is having a special season. Uh, but to be able to do, do both events, in, in, in my opinion, and based upon the information I had during that time, it was going to be tough to be able to pull off. You spoke that you put the bid in the 22nd and the 27th pulled it. 
did the decision above you get made, or is this all all, all come from you? So what happens, Rick, is that uh, I'm a regional I'm a regional um, um, lead for the for the for, for the uh, um, for the committee, and so we have to we just go through the list of all the the teams that put in bids. So I had to say basically when our team came up, Sherrard, your regional bid looks good. I had to say, well, based upon the information I have at this point in time, we're going to have to withdraw our bid. So that came from me. At ISU, did anybody higher ups talk to you that they didn't think they could host it either? Um, I shared that. I shared that information with. Um, with I shared information with with the, the powers that be, and yes. Uh, there, uh, these are rumors. That's why I want to see yeah. confirm or not. There was also some talk that this place wasn't big enough to host a super regional. Was that ever in context? No, we earned a right being a higher seat, so that wasn't even a question. I mean, that that was ours to have. Just, just one, like I said, yeah, just that, one that was ours to have. Have you heard from players, former players? I mean. At, yes, I have. I heard from a lot of former players. I think they've probably been the, the, the biggest one. They built this program, Coach Warren, and uh, they're really disappointed because this was a tremendous opportunity to put us on the national stage. So I understand their frustration, their disappointment, um, but understand that you know I'm, I've done all that I can. We have, uh, as an athletic department, to be able to support uh, this program. I think you saw what we did for the Missouri Valley Conference, what we did for the regional. There's nothing we wouldn't do. Uh, but this decision, as hard as it was, it was just going to be hard to be able to do, excuse me, to do all those things with the special, with the special Olympics. It really was. You talk about I know it's a fluid situation, but last night, was there any opportunity where you guys were going to have a neutral location for the Super Regional or anything like that? No, sir. No. You, you talked about the outpouring of support from the community, yeah. uh, the volunteers. It was too late at, at yeah. this point. Do you wish maybe a miscommunication between the community that that information could have came out earlier? And do you think that would have helped? to possibly bring the Super Regional here? Well, hindsight's 2020. I know that we reached out to quite a few people uh, for, the, for the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament as well as the Regional, uh, and we still had challenges with that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess in the future, maybe we'll reach out even to more people, send out a mass email. Um, I talked with uh, uh, Mayor Duke Bennett. He said, Sherrard, anytime you need anything, you know, reach out to me, we'll do stuff. So I'll utilize that more the next time that happens, but it doesn't help the situation now. But um, it's just really uh, disappointing. It really is. Well, you mentioned the mayor and Dave Patterson, so I guess this question's fair. Both of them told me earlier this morning that you did not reach out to them regarding Super Regionals. Why not? Well, I didn't talk with the mayor, and uh, as far as Dave Patterson's concerned, we had talked to Dave. That's how, that's how I got the information not about Super the hotels. Regional specifically? During, 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 the, during the bidding process, we talked. Yes, we did, sir. About hosting the Super Regionals that you made. Oh, like I told you, the Regionals and the Super Regionals are all together. And so we submitted that information. It's going by what Dave told me. Yeah. So. Okay. I think in some way this doesn't affect the starting pitches, but this could be a rallying cry for this team. They're going to be underdogs anyways on the road. Oh, excuse me. You, know, like, you know, Mitch loved yeah. the underdog. He yeah. This is something Mitch and these guys will use when they, you know, they, certainly they, the team's disappointed, the fans are disappointed. This could help this team maybe a little momentum as they get set to take on one of the best teams in the country. Well, I use the quote competitive resiliency for all of our teams, and I think this team has demonstrated that probably more than any other team this year. I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll do that. Um, if there's any kind of uh, silver lining, we still will be the home team, the first and third game, uh, so we don't lose that at all. Uh, but uh, this is bigger than that. Uh, again, I'm not sitting here and trying to make it, you know, this is a big a disappointment. Uh, but I want our, our alumni and our fans to know that we appreciate all their support. But this decision was not made in a vacuum. This was a hard decision. But based upon what I had at that time, this is where we are. Now, if I'd have had this outgoing of support before then, it could be a different story. But we did all that we could to be able to host a Super Regional, and I just didn't feel that it was uh, appropriate to be able to do so.